Hey, Jill, take us into the software spotlight. Okay. Well, speaking of uh, storing passwords on a floppy disk, this is an excellent tool to encrypt your uh, files <laughs> files on a floppy disk without having to use a separate tool. Usually I use Vim or Vi and then encrypt it and then put it on the floppy. <laughs> How do you exit? That's the question. <laughs> How do you ever leave the screen? <laughs> All right, WQ. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> you got me. I'm sorry. You, you well, broke our, Jill. Our you software broke Jill. spotlight is encrypted notepad too, where you could take encrypted yeah. notes, right, Jill? Yes. So sometimes you just need to take back control of your privacy and keep your notes out of metadata crawlers. This offline basic text editor features encryption using AES-256 and stored in the PGP OpenPGP.ASC format. This means it's compatible with any service that also uses the, uses the standard, and you can make your own cloud backup solution using any of the cloud storage providers to sync across devices. This is just awesome. And, and yeah, so... To install it, this is this is not a handy flat pack that you can install. This one requires a little work. And for those for those in our audience Pass. who <laughs> <laughs> Michael's like, no, I'll never I'll never use it because it requires work. <laughs> work. So no thanks. <laughs> for those those in our audience who are, are more experienced or um, intermediate users of Linux will know how to do that. But some of our beginners may not. Uh, no, so I'm just going to explain it. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do, and it's really, it's really not rocket science. You just open your terminal, you type git clone and the URL of the software that you want to download, which for today's example is yeah, encrypted notepad2.git. You CD into that newly created directory. So you type CD space encrypted notepad2. And then on the next line, you say go build. And then the next line, you would dot forward slash encrypted notepad2, which is what allows you to launch the program. Now, first, you need to make sure that the go 1.22 plus library is installed. But if you're unsure of what library that is, when you go to build encrypted notepad2, your terminal will let you know and will let, let you know what library to it sudo did. It apt said, install. Hey, not found. Do sudo snap install go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, you left me, Michael. <laughs> that's it. And now that is you not have, what happened, people. It, it's have, added for entertainment. <laughs> now you have launched Encrypted Notepad 2. Now this will all be in our show notes, um, so you can go through them yourself. <laughs> but that's what I did on one of my machines to well, install. Your instructions this were awesome. perfect. I now have Encrypted <laughs> Notepad 2 installed here, Jill. Thank Yay! You. Do, do, wait a minute. Do you? Sure, Michael. <laughs> all right. What's the tip of the week? <laughs> but, before we get into that, I'm glad you said it's for advanced and inter in intermediate users because uh, in addition to all the stuff that's going to be in the show notes, you also need to know how to install Git in the first place. Yes, so you know use there Git. you go. And yeah. you also need to, when you, you have, like in that list, you still <laughs> got to make that folder, the encrypted Notepad2 folder. So like mm -hmm. there's there's people who are intermediate users, intermediate users and uh, advanced users would be totally fine with this. It's just like, this is the reason why uh, as a third person who is a technical yeah. person, I... Yeah. I still pass because I don't just make make a flat pack, please. Like if, if you want people to use it, make a flat pack or a snap or an app image, Absolutely, whatever. Just yeah. Pick one of the three and then let's go. Well, what is nice, Michael, about this one? It actually already creates the directory for you. Okay, so that's that good. That's convenient. Yeah. yeah. That's that's good. <laughs> still a flat pack would be nicer if they created that for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyway. <laughs> 